Hi, this is Ryan from Cold Energy, and today we're going to have a quick look at an application we've just completed for the guys at Aero Whip Soft Serve Ice Cream Machines. Now, this solution utilizes the Danfoss MCX061V for control, and it's also got a close control MMI for remote display. All the hardware connections are done to the MCX061V to the terminal strips uh, on the device and then the remote display which is panel mounted is connected by an RJ11 patch lead over the CAN bus. Okay we now swap the view to the close control MMI which is the remote display. So you can see in the back there's the RJ11 CAN bus connection which also provides the power to the display. As it's loading up, you can see it's got um, some additional LED lighting uh, compared to the, the basic MMI. Uh, so through this device, now this is uh, basically the same operation on the front of the MCX6 display. Uh, the difference is the, the two units can, can operate um, concurrently, so they can be different sessions on each device. Okay, now we've gone over the hardware, we'll talk about the application inside the device. Uh, now the application essentially runs uh, two things, which is a ice cream barrel, uh, which is freezing the ice cream, and then also a mixing tank uh, up on top, which, which holds the mix prior to freezing. Uh, on the front of the display, you can see the ice cream temperature, which is the barrel temp, which at the moment is showing 24.9, uh, and the mix temperature, which is inside the mixing tank at 25.6. So below that there's a, a small section labelled barrel and tank and inside there's the quick uh, LEDs which show uh, what's happening whether it's uh, the, the beater is using, uh, the beater is being used in the barrel, the cooling, uh, the tank, the pressure pump. Okay we'll now enter inside the menu of the device. Now that's done by hitting the enter key which is shown here as the orange LED which also doubles as the power indication uh, LED. So we'll hit enter and the first thing we get is the security. So there's three levels of security set up in this application. Uh, one which is the basic user, two which is the service user, and three which is admin. Uh, now they're uh, accessed by password levels uh, 100, 200 and 300. So we'll just go for 100 at the moment. So you can see there now we've got two additional menus. One's operations and one's alarms. Now the operation menu is essentially the basic uh, settings that you need to turn the device on off and change a few set points. So we can see here we've got the unit control, we've got the barrel set point, differential, tank set point, differential, and we've also got the night setback set point. So if we go back up to unit control we can see there now we've got three options inside unit control. The first option is on which is normal operation. The second option is night which operates at the barrel setback set point. And the third option is wash, in which no refrigeration runs and the beater runs so the unit can be washed. So we're just going to turn it on for the moment. So we'll see now we've also got some green LED indication to show that the unit is on. And then on the main screen we've now got also some additional information which shows the tank cooling is on, the barrel cooling is on, and the beater is moving. And you can see there it's agitating, so it's showing that uh, the feedback from the taco on the beating motor is showing that it's within range so if that uh, is reduced or too high that will stop stop the refrigeration um, and some protective action will, will be taken. Okay so now the unit is essentially running. Uh, there are some opportunities to see some additional information through some other screens that have been created so you can navigate to those using the up and down button so we can just see there now that the barrel agitator is stopped moving. So the simulation I've got working is now telling us that uh, the taco is reading too slow. So you can see there now that it shows that it's no longer moving. The refrigeration has been turned off. The barrel motor is still energized uh, and hopefully heating up the barrel. Uh, but essentially that won't happen because it's just simulating. And then we should see uh, a fault any moment. Now we can also see here on the next screen down that it shows the cut in and cut out, the cut in and cut out for both uh, the ice cream and the tank. We've got some additional set point information, system statuses, 
the sensors connected to the device, the digital inputs, uh, all the outputs, and then also the uh, the manufacturer and their contact details. So you can see there now that it's just gone into alarm. So we can hear the buzzing, and if we hit enter or exit, and that's telling us there that the beta revs per second is low and also fatal. So the fatal error will stop the refrigeration in the barrel, and it also requires a full reset to repair the problem. Now that's done by hitting X, which takes us to the alarm menu or the the alarm indication and then holding down the X key and it tries to clear the alarm but currently we're still in the same situation. I just restarted the simulation for the barrel motor so you can see there now that it's re-agitating so if we hit X hold the X button down you can see now it's cleared the alarm and it's called the refrigeration uh, back on Okay, so the last part that we'll go through is some of the more advanced parts uh, of the menu structure. So we'll log in as the administration user. And you can see there now that we've got some additional menus on top of the basic user. Uh, control settings, manual operations, delays, communications, service factory menu, and test menu. So we'll start at, uh, at the manual operations menu, which essentially is a way to drive all the digital outputs on the device. Uh, for testing purposes. So inside the pump you can see there at the currently it's in auto which means uh, it's controlled by the automatic software. So we can turn it to off to isolate it or we can turn it to manual to drive it. So once it's in either manual on or manual off it no longer looks at the automatic software. Uh, this is a pretty handy thing to have uh, for the service technician. So we've got that for all the outputs uh, on the device. We've also got um, some of the delays involved uh, with the confirmation of certain stages of the process. So they're in this delays menu, which can all be adjusted. And that's essentially a quick overview of the application. Thanks.